So now we're going to get into some vector and, and raster based analyses. Um, so we've already been through some of the basics of you know bringing in data, converting data, symbolizing data, making map layouts. So in the second component, we're going to work mainly with um, analysis techniques, so some of the different tools that are available. So we're going to start off with some vector analysis, and then um, we'll get into raster analysis in some later videos. All right, so the goal in this video specifically is to look at some of the vector overlay options. Um, and these are actually pretty similar to the options available in ArcGIS um, you know, if you're an ArcGIS user. Okay, so um, there's, again, multiple ways you can find tools. Um, so, again, you can search for them in the toolbox, um, find them in the directory if you know where they're at, again, search. Um, or you can, more, some of the common tools are available up here in these menus. I'm just going to access tools through the menus right now. Um, because we're doing some pretty basic stuff. All right, so um, again, we'll look at some overlay techniques. We basically have like clip in and intersect, which are like spatial ands, um, union, which is your spatial or, symmetrical difference, which is your spatial xor, and then um, difference, which is your spatial not, which is kind of like a race in ArcGIS. Okay, so let's just run a couple tools just so you can get a sense of how they work. Okay, we're gonna start off with Clip. That's probably one of the simplest and most used tools in GIS. So um, let's clip this circle uh, object relative to the triangle object. Note that by default, it's just gonna save out to a temporary file. Um, that's something that's different in QGIS from ARC. Um, it likes to save temporary files. Um, and then if you want to save them out, you can, um, you know, export them out to file. Um, sometimes it lets you save files out, but, you know, I'm just going to do temporary files just so, because we're just playing around. Okay, so that already ran. That's pretty quick. So if we look at this clip output, that's this object. So we basically got the portion of the circle that's in the triangle or, or vice versa. I can't remember which order I put them in. Um, again, with clip, you're just going to get the attributes from the input feature, in this case the circle, and um, not the attributes from the clipping feature, in this case was the, the triangle. Um, if we ran, let me get rid of that. Um, if we ran intersect, you would basically get the same output. Um, so we do circle and the triangle. So same same geometric output, but if you look in the attribute table, then now you have both sets of attributes. So like the C field came from the circle and the T attribute came from the triangle. But geome geometrically it's the same. All right, if we do our spatial union, let's just do that with a couple of the polygons. So we'll do the rectangle and the triangle. Well, something didn't work. Let me try that again. Vector, geoprocessing, union, and we wanna do the rectangle and the triangle. There we go. I'm sure I did it the first time. So here we can see that it combined those two features um, into one layer, and they're all sliced up along their their boundaries. And if we look at the attribute table, we'll see that we have fields from both features, rectangle, triangle, so if we look at some of the selection options or selecting the features, this is just this is in the triangle and the rectangle. So it's got the T and the R. This is just the triangle, no R, T, and then the rectangle, no triangle. Uh, we're going to symmetrical difference is like your spatial um, x or so it's the areas that's in one of the two features but not both so for example if we did the triangle and the circle 
this is your XOR output. So just the triangle, just the circle, this overlapping area is not included. And then lastly, we have our um, difference, which is kind of like a race. So I'm going to do the triangle, or the, sorry, the rectangle and the triangle again. And what you end up with in this case is it erases the portion of the rectangle that's in the triangle. So it's basically, again, your spatial knot. So um, is rectangle, not triangle, basically. All right, so as you can see, the vector overlay techniques uh, in ARC or in, in QGIS are actually pretty similar to those in ARC and um, ArcGIS.